Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys settings that you should turn on right now on your device on iOS 13. Now turning on these settings will help you get better battery life on your iPhone, get better performance, better security and better privacy as well. The first setting you should turn on is low data mode. This is a new setting that Apple has introduced on iOS 13. So you go to settings, you go to cellular and right there you will find low data mode and make sure to turn it on. Now turning on this setting will help the apps on your iPhone consume less data. That way if you have like a limited data plan that will help you a lot. The apps will consume way less data. The next setting you should turn on is silent unknown colors. Now this settings can be found under the phone settings on the settings app of course. So just go ahead and enable silence unknown colors. Now what this will do is that all the unknown numbers, all the unknown calls that will come to your iPhone, they will be silent. You won't see them on the screen. They will be just automatically sent to the voicemail. Also, you will see them on the recent list when you go to your phone app, but they won't bother you showing in the screen and ringing your phone. Another really, really important setting that you should turn on is emergency SOS. So make sure you have these two buttons turned on. And also what's really important is adding your emergency contact. So just go ahead and tap right there. It will take you to this page. Click on the edit button. And from here, you can go ahead and tap to add an emergency contact. Now you can have one or you can have multiple ones. Just tap right here. It will take you to your contacts. And once it takes you to your contacts, just go ahead and add any number that you want. And then that will be your emergency contact. In case of an emergency, that will be no the number that will be contacted. Now, something really, really helpful that you can turn on on your iPhone on iOS 13 and previous iOS versions as well is the one handed keyboard. So go to general, go to keyboard and here we'll find one handed keyboard and make sure you turn it on right there. Now, whenever you go to your keyboard, you will have like these arrows right here. You can see we'll have the keyboard shrunk on that way so you can use it with one hand easier. Now, if you tap that arrow, it will go back to the full keyboard. Now, if you tap here, you can go ahead and just enable the one handed keyboard as easy as this. So on either side, left or right, it can be done directly from here. Another setting you should turn on is reachability and on iOS 13 you can do that by going to the accessibility section. This is of course the new section that Apple has added on the settings app on iOS 13 and here you will find touch. So go to touch right there and here you will find reachability and as easy as that you can enable reachability on your iOS 13 device. And of course you can use it to bring down the screen whenever you need to reach something with one hand that will be really, really cool and very convenient as well. Now something that is not really important but it looks cool is found under wallpaper. So go to wallpaper and enable the setting right here. Dark appearance, dims wallpaper. So what this does is that it will add like a dark appearance to the wallpaper that you have set on your device when you enable the dark mode. So enabling dark mode and having a light wallpaper on your device doesn't really look that good. But if you enable this, then it will add like a shade to the wallpaper, making it look a bit darker. So it will look better with the dark mode on. Talking about the dark mode, I suggest that you go to settings, go to display and brightness and choose automatic right here. What this will do is that it automatically enables the dark mode for you. You don't have to do anything. You can go to options and you can choose sunset to sunrise or you can set a custom schedule right there. So automatically it will switch between the dark and the light mode. And this is really, really important. Enabling dark mode at nighttime is really awesome. Of course, it will help your eyes and it also helps your device's battery as well. So if you have a device with the OLED display all the black stuff that is on the screen is basically pixels that are shut down that way your iphone will consume way less battery so make sure you keep the dark mode at automatic if you don't want to keep it on all the time keep it on automatic and every time then when night comes it will automatically switch to the dark mode now if you don't want to have dark mode turned on automatically you can do that easier from the control center. So go to settings, go to control center, go to customize control center and down here we'll find dark mode. So, so this will add a toggle on the control center that helps you turn on or off easier the dark mode directly from here. So just tap that button right there. You can switch between the dark and the light mode. 
Having more free space on your iPhone is really important, especially if you have an iPhone that has lower storage. So what you need to do is go to settings, go to messages and scroll down here and go to keep messages and turn this maybe at 30 days right here. So every 30 days it will delete the messages that are older more than 30 days will be automatically deleted so you might have messages that have like attachments and all that stuff and of course they will take up space on your iphone so make sure you turn this at 30 days so any message older than 30 days will be automatically deleted a setting I suggest you should turn on is Wi-Fi Assist. Now, many people don't like this, but I think the best setting is to keep it on. So what Wi-Fi Assist is that when you have like a weak connection to a Wi-Fi network, it will automatically switch to the cellular data. If you have like an unlimited data plan, you can easier do this. Just go ahead, enable this. So what this does is that when you have like a weak connection, it won't keep your iPhone trying to connect to that Wi-Fi. That way it consumes a ton of battery, but it automatically switches to the cellular data. And then when the Wi-Fi connection is stronger, it will come back to the Wi-Fi connection. So make sure you turn on Wi-Fi Assist. That setting can be found under settings, under cellular, and down here we'll find Wi-Fi Assist. Another setting I suggest you should turn on that you might use every once in a while is found under accessibility. And then what you need to do here is just go to spoken contact and make sure you enable speak selection. Now what this does is that it will speak, basically it will read anything for you that's on the screen of your iPhone. So here I go to text, I can go ahead and tap and hold that and just tap speak Pick up Andrew tomorrow morning. and it will read that for me. So if you have like a huge message or any other text that you don't want to read it, you don't have the time or anything, you just want to listen to it, your iPhone can do that for you. Just make sure you go to settings, go to accessibility and then go to spoken contact and make sure you make you enable right there speak selection. Now a very very useful setting that is found under the phone settings on iOS 13 and older iOS versions as well is respond with text. I see a ton of people don't use this. So you get a phone call and you don't have the time to get that phone call, you just want to reply with a quick text, then you can go ahead and add your own custom texts right here. Now there are some default ones that you get on iOS, but if you want to have your own custom ones, you just go to settings, go to phone, and then right here we'll find the spaces right here where you can, where you can add your custom messages. And every once in a while, when you cannot take a call, you just want to respond with a quick text, you can do that with these texts that you enter right here. Next up is a setting found under the privacy section. So go to privacy, scroll down right here, and you will find advertising. Go ahead and enable limit ad tracking. So what this does is that it will limit the amount of tracking that ads do for you. So you search for something on Google, then you go to another website, it will track you basically showing like ads that they think that are on your interest it will track you whatever you search whatever you're looking for maybe to buy something or anything it will track you from side to side basically the same thing is done also by prevent cross-site tracking so go to settings go to safari and make sure you enable prevent cross-site tracking right here it will be the first one under privacy and security Next is the do not disturb mode. So this is really, really important for your security. So go to do not disturb mode and go ahead and enable do not disturb right there. And then right here, go to activate and then go ahead and choose when connected to car Bluetooth. So, or you can even choose automatically, but when, when connected to car Bluetooth is my preferred one. So go ahead and choose that setting. So whenever you're sitting on your car, your iPhone connects to the car Bluetooth. Of course, it will do that automatically. It will know that you're starting to drive and will, of course, turn on do not disturb so that you don't get disturbed while driving because, of course, that's really, really dangerous. So go ahead, go to settings, go to do not disturb and make sure you choose here when connected to car Bluetooth. And last but not least is a setting found here under display and brightness and of course is auto lock. So make sure you go ahead and turn this on. This is really, really important for the security of your iPhone. So you leave your iPhone on a table or somewhere and you don't lock it. 
if you have here set at never, it will never be locked. It will stay open and someone can just grab your iPhone and go through it. So what you want to do is go ahead and set on auto lock. So basically you set it for 30 seconds or even a minute. And then if you even forget your iPhone somewhere, it will be automatically locked after 30 seconds or one minute or whatever time you choose here but make sure that you choose one of these you don't want to leave your iphone open somewhere so someone will run through it so go ahead and just choose one of these and have your iphone automatically locked so that's basically it for this video guys these are 18 iphone settings that you should turn on right now on ios 13. Now, i also did a video on settings that you should turn off on ios 13 if you want to check that out make sure you check the card up there so you can go ahead and check the settings that you should turn off on your device on ios 13. so that's pretty much it for this video guys go ahead and check out my latest videos on ios 13 and also don't forget to leave a like here and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more ios 13 videos in the future again thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and all these tips now we'll see you on the next one